Hello guys, if you're looking to buy some cheap 8 ball coins, then I want you guys to check out 8 ball store on Facebook. They are the best, they got the best price and a fast delivery system. So yeah guys, go ahead and check them out. I put the link in the description below. Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of my league. And well, the reason I'm showing you this is because last week you watched the first part, what happened on Monday morning. And this is the video I'm showing you from 11th of July, what happened last week on the My League. And well, this is how I win the cash every week. And I'm just showing you guys right now. One hour is left into the competition. And I started playing Mumbai. And well, the speed of this video is going to be a very, very fast because I want to make sure that the video time doesn't cross the limit of at least 10 minutes to make sure it's only 10 minutes of worth of video and as you can see uh, I'm taking the stripes one by one playing slow shots to make sure we finish the game as quickly as possible we don't give him a chance and yes a forward spin to make sure we pot the black into the left top pocket he wants to play again but I can't because uh, I'm recording this for my league and <clears throat> currently i'm right now on the second position and i'm trying to get to the top position number one to make sure we get the extra 150 cash off the my league table and again it's my break i'm very lucky usually uh, when i don't get break uh, i leave the game but this is a 30 million table and it's my break and as you can see, stripes are a bit open easy. And that was a careless shot on my end. Never mind, guys. But I had to make sure that everything is open for me. Alright, again, I'll be using the forward spin to make sure that we go somewhere near the middle of the table, just like what we did. And yes, slow shot for the next orange in a bottom pocket. Now, this was a tricky shot. I was very lucky on this part. Look where I touched the green. And I actually parted both the balls at the same time. And, yep. He's very unlucky. And we level up. We get an extra cash. And let's check where I am right now in the my league table. But we can check later after we play this game. And yeah, it was his break. I made a mistake and I actually lost the game. And I blocked the only pocket that the yellow was available. And so yeah, I, usually guys, I don't get upset when I lose a game because of somebody else's break. And I only get upset when it's my break and I'm unable to clear the table and get the victory. So I lost this game, it doesn't matter. It was not my break. I made a small mistake on my part. Uh, wrong spin selection, actually. So, it doesn't matter. We go into the next Mumbai game. So, now it's my break. And he is immediately trash talking to me. And so, let me reply to him by saying good luck. And... But usually, when I have an ego, I've learned my lesson to respect each and every player, each and every 8-ball pool player. And, well, I'm just concentrating on my game, see where the stripes are and how to avoid them at all costs. And you can see purple is a bit of a tension for me, but uh, we can use a forward spin over here to make sure we can go at the bottom of the cushion. Now I have a chance to play the red and make sure I get a good position on the purple. And well, it's not a bit of a good position, but I'm going to be disturbing that stripe. And I did disturb and look, I was very, very lucky. His trash talking didn't work on me. And yep. So again, First two games, we played good, but this game, we got lucky. And 
I think we'll check the league table right now. See where we are right now. 42 minutes remaining. I'm still number second. And... Okay, so I edited it out. And now we are back again. It's only, I think, 20 minutes remaining. And I'm again playing. You see, this is what I do, guys. I play in the last hour of the competition to make sure that I don't have to keep checking the table again and again and don't go onto the second position. And well, it's not a bad break. Stripes are kind of open, except for that red in the far corner, red and the orange. But you can use a combo shot and easily pot them. So that's it. It's that simple, guys. Just play slow shots one by one. He knows that the game is over already. Yep. Blue is next with a stun shot to make sure we stop the cue ball where the blue is just to stop it. But even you can take it forward. It's all good. Never mind. Slow shot on the green. Last is just yellow. It's directly in contact and that's it. He's left the game already. So now I've taken over the first guy. And we're going to make sure we stay on first by keep playing Mumbai. I, n I don't play Berlin table, especially on the last hour of the competition. Because sometimes you miss the black. Sometimes the black is difficult. And you waste your time, waste your valuable time. And you guys already know that I'm not good in the bank shots. So yeah, I was confused a bit what to do. So I decided to play a combo shot and get this uh, solids going. But the problem is that orange and blue solid near the right side table, right side cushion are difficult. So what I do, I just go on them and hit them. But I messed up. So now I think I'm in trouble. And I think this game was the longest game of the my league because look I messed up on a bad position we still have seven minutes to go guys I just showed you the time it was 8 53 a.m. the competition ends at 9 a.m. and I want to make sure that I win this game and the next game actually yes you can win two games in the time of seven minutes so again he is trying different he's trying the combo long shots and let's see if it works. And it didn't work, guys. So he messed up on a long combo shot. And I'm trying to open up the orange and the blue. And immediately, the orange is open. The blue is open. The black is easily available. And, yep, everything is going according to plan. Now I'm required to use a combo shot, which he actually missed. Yep, now he's in trouble. He chose the wrong pocket. And he just potted. Everything is open. And you see, guys, just one. This is the reason I don't leave, guys. You never know when a player is going to be out of position. Especially a level, uh, level 56, sorry. Yep, again, a slow back spin to make sure... We don't scratch and we get a good position on the black. So now only four minutes are remaining into the competition. And I decided to go check the table to see if, if I have a safety margin. What a safety margin is, but let's go back and check. Look, 110 and 38 million. That's only 28 million difference. And I have four minutes to go. So why not? Okay, it is his break. And I'm hoping that he does not pot a ball, and that's what exactly what happens. So that's a very, very nice break. Stripes are all open all over the place. And I thought to myself that this is a good opportunity for me to finish the game quickly and make sure that I get 150 pool cash. So 
So he's telling me to close, but okay, we still have two minutes to go. This is the reason I keep checking the time to make sure we don't, we log out before the end of the competition to make sure we get the cash and we get the next easy league, maybe on Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. And yep, he left the game already. Let's go check the league. We have one minute and 44 seconds and I have a really strong position. This guy is not playing. So that's it. I just log out, guys. It's so easy.